Hello, my dear students. How are you? I think you are fine. Let's start our lesson. And the theme of our lesson is learning languages. Today at the lesson, you will learn new words. And you can understand people talking about languages and communications. Open your copybook, please, and write down today's date and the theme of our lesson. Learning languages. Now you should open your student's book at page number 72. Look at the languages quiz and complete the columns with the words in blue. Do you know the names of other languages in English? Давай с тобой выполним упражнение номер один. Посмотри на викторину языки и дополни таблицу словами выделенными голубым цветом в викторине. Знаешь ли ты название других языков на английском? Do the quiz, then listen and check your answers. Выполни викторину, затем послушай и проверь свои ответы. Track 2.16 Vocabulary and listening Exercise 2 Okay, everyone. How much do you know about different languages? Open your books and look at this quiz. Martin, number one. What language do more people speak? What do you think? Um, they speak English in a lot of countries. Britain, the USA, Canada, Australia and New Zealand. So, I think it's English. No, it's not English. Oh. Anyone? Natasha? I think it's Mandarin. They speak Mandarin in China, and China is very, very big. Yes, you're right. It's Mandarin. OK, number two. How many letters are there in the English alphabet. Paul. That's easy. It's 26. Yes, you're right. Good. Next, how many people do you think speak Mandarin? Julia. Uh, I think it's over one billion. Yes, it is. Good. OK. What about this one? This word means mother in what language? Anyone? <laughs> yes, Mehmet. I know. My parents are from Turkey and it's Turkish. Yes, that's right. And finally, what's this Russian word in English? Anyone? Sophie? I don't know. Is it restaurant? Yes, it is. Well done, Sophie. It means restaurant. OK, well done. Now let's continue our lesson. And the next exercise number three. Look at the picture and listen to a program about Kanzi the chimpanzee. Then choose the correct sentence from A to D. И продолжаем наш урок. Следующее задание номер три. Посмотри на картинку и послушай программу о Кензи, шимпанзе. Затем выбери правильное предложение. And Alison Sanders is in the USA with Kanzi, the incredible chimpanzee. Yes, Robert, this is Kanzi. She lives here in the USA. And as you can see, she's a chimpanzee. OK. So tell us why she is special. Well, Kanzi is no ordinary chimpanzee because she goes to English class. She is part of a university study about language. She goes to English class. Does she understand English? Yes, she does. She understands some of her teacher's words. And does she speak English? No, she doesn't speak. OK. If she doesn't speak, how does she communicate? Well, 
She doesn't use the alphabet, but she uses these special symbols. Aha.、Uh-huh. Okay. And how many symbols does Kanzi understand? She understands about two hundred now. So she doesn't speak, but she uses the symbols. Yes, it's incredible. It certainly is. Now look at the questions and choose answers from the box. Then listen again and check. А сейчас посмотри на вопросы и выбери ответы в рамки. Затем послушай снова и проверь. And Alison Sanders is in the USA with Kanzi, the incredible chimpanzee. Yes, Robert, this is Kanzi. She lives here in the USA, and as you can see, she's a chimpanzee. Okay, so tell us why she is special. Well, Kanzi is no ordinary chimpanzee because she goes to English class. She is part of a university study about language. She goes to English class. Does she understand English? Yes, she does. She understands some of her teacher's words. And does she speak English? No, she doesn't speak. Okay. If she doesn't speak, how does she communicate? Well, she doesn't use the alphabet, but she uses these special symbols. Uh huh. Okay. And how many symbols does Kanzi understand? She understands about two hundred now. So she doesn't speak, but she uses the symbols. Yes, it's incredible. It certainly is. Сегодня на уроке ты узнал, как называются другие языки на английском. Также ты послушал разговор людей. говорящих о языках. До следующего урока я хочу, чтобы ты выучил наизусть название других языков по-английски. See you very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and give me a like.